wrestling, and baseball. He worked very hard in, all, in, his, in his athletics, achieving district and state honors, and was even a five-time state wrestling champion. I don't know where he found the extra time, but he was also involved in several organizations such as Key Club and Student Council, and even participated in community service projects throughout his high school career. He is an excellent athlete, excellent student, and an amazing personality. And I'm proud to present to you your 2024 valedictorian, Mr. Nicholas Trudeau. introduction and for all the time and effort you dedicated to our school. Today is a very exciting day for me because I have the honor of, I have the honor of addressing you all. For those of you who don't want to know me, my name is Nicholas Thrio. I'm the son of Sam and Jessica Thrio and I have two younger brothers who have been my inspiration and support throughout these years. I know how everyone dreads long speeches so I'll try to keep it short and sweet. I want all past graduates to take a moment and remember their graduation day. I'll help jog your memory. Maybe you're a grandma that was part of the groovy bow bottom 70s. Or 80s grandpa with those classic rock ballads. Rock ballads. We can't forget about the 1990 moms with pooped hair that was cemented in place with Aquanet. What about the dads from the 2000s with flat bill ball caps turned to the side? Dad, what the heck were you thinking? I've seen the pictures. <laughs> Years from now, I know we are going to look back and shake our heads as we reflect on our own trends and slang. We'll laugh about saying things like bet, riz, or no cap, or spending countless hours perfecting TikTok dances. But amidst all the fun and memories, sorry, I forgot about that. But amidst all the fun and memories, it is important to take a moment to acknowledge those who have been instrumental in our journey. I want to take a moment to thank my family. Without their support and love, I wouldn't be here today. My accomplishments and who I am as a person are all because of you. Thank you, mom and dad. Love you guys. Thank you all the teachers who have helped us along the way. Just know that we appreciate all of you. I want to give a special shout out to Dr. Ludicky. He took me under his wing during my sophomore year. Thank you, Doc, for your guidance and wisdom. A heartfelt thank you to our coaches. You have given us your time and taught us that hard work always wins. The lessons have been invaluable. I want to thank God for the blessing of this life. Let us always remember to keep God in our lives, to praise Him, give thanks, because without God by our side, because with God by our side, we can overcome any obstacle. <laughs> If you're a parent or guardian of a student in the class of 2024, please stand. On behalf of my entire class, I want to say thank you for your love and support throughout these four years. Your sacrifices have not gone unnoticed, and we are truly appreciative of everything you have done for us. Can we please give a round of applause for these amazing individuals? Okay, thank you guys. You guys can stand. Next, I want to congratulate all the graduates of the class of 2024 for their hard work and dedication in pushing through this moment. Please, let's have a big round of applause for the class of 2024 at Holy Many of us remember coming to Cobra High like it was yesterday. The funny thing is, we started our journey here during COVID, 
so our freshman year was mostly experienced through a computer screen. Fast forward three, three years later, and here we are, already graduating. This is surreal to me how quickly time has flown by. Four years turned into four months, then four weeks, four days, four hours, and finally, four minutes. Last week, the last battle of our senior year rang, marking the end of an era and the beginning of a new journey. It's a bittersweet moment filled with both excitement and a hit of nostalgia. You see, when we were five, they asked us when we wanted to be when we grew up. Our answers were things like an astronaut, a firefighter, or in my case, a superhero, specifically Spider-Man. When we were 10, they asked again. We answered, a police officer, a pilot, or in my case, a YouTuber. But now that we've grown up, they expect a serious answer. But this isn't the time to make hard and fast decisions. This is the time to make mistakes. Change your mind and change it again, because nothing is permanent. This is the time to explore, to learn about ourselves, and to find what truly makes us happy. We are going to fail along the way, but it's okay. Failure has seven letters, but so does success. Sad has three letters, but so does joy. Loss has four letters, but so does gain. Life is full of dualities, and how we perceive them can shape our experiences. Embrace both the highs and the lows, for they each teach us something valuable. Although I have accomplished many of my goals in sports and academics, let me tell you, I'm just like all of you. My parents graduated from high school 18 years ago, the same year I was born. They were sitting right here amongst you guys, while well, me being five months old, sitting right over there in the stands. Our entire family had no idea what our future would hold. As we grew up together, I always tried to make them proud because I knew the struggles and sacrifices they endured throughout my youth. For anyone who feels like the odds are against you, anything is possible. You too could beat the statistics, just like my family did. Life can get hard if you take risks, but the biggest risk is never taking any risks at all. Think about Mark Zuckerberg, who left Harvard to chase his dreams with Facebook, or consider J.K. Rowling, who faced countless rejections before her first Harry Potter book was published. Both of them made choices to take a leap of faith and chase their dreams. If you are not willing to risk the unusual, you have to settle for the ordinary. I came across a quote that deeply resonated with me, spoken by one of my favorite college wrestlers this year, Bo Bartlett. Bo, a national finalist who faced defeat in the finals, shared these insightful words. Successful people are risk takers. They understand the journey and use their goal as a guide instead of a destination. Their journey is controlled and the destination is uncertain. Embrace the journey, accept any destination. I am not done taking risks. I had to read this quote several times for me to truly grasp its essence. Old Bartlett's words encourage us to shift our focus away from stressing on our end goals and instead, and instead to embrace it. Yeah, and instead to embrace every twist and turn along life's path. It reminds us that life's beauty lies not just in reaching our destination, but in the challenges we overcome and the lessons we learn along the way. It's about living a fulfilling life, one enriched by the journeys, experiences, and our responses to them, ultimately shaping us into better individuals. It is essential not to compare our journey to others. All of us will choose a path, and there is no wrong answer to the path we choose. As I look out, I see future educators, minors, janitors, nurses, doctors, lawyers, police officers, those that choose law enforcement, Remember, I called it today at graduation, so, if you, so give me a break when you catch me speeding on 180. Each of us has our own unique path, our own timing, our own, and our own destination. So let's cherish every moment, savor every experience, and embrace the beauty of life. Because if we don't actively engage with it, life will simply pass us by. As the saying goes, never compare your life to any analysis. There is no comparison between the sun and the moon. They both shine when it's their time. I started this speech by thanking my parents, and I want to end it the same way, by expressing my deepest gratitude to them. Mom, Dad, your support, your sacrifices, and love have been the foundation of everything I am today. You've believed in me when I doubted myself, encouraged me when I faced challenges, and celebrated with me in my successes. Words cannot express how grateful I am for your presence in my life. Thank you for being my rock, my guiding light, and my greatest source of inspiration. In closing, let us remember to always cherish the love and support of our families. 
to embrace the journey of life with open hearts and minds, and to never forget the power of faith and gratitude. Congratulations, class of 2024. Our journey has been remarkable, and the best is yet to come. Thank you, and may God bless you all abundantly. Thank you, boys. Very inspirational, very true. And boy, can they write it.